I got three words for you guys. You like that. You like that. That's what you get. You got it. You wanted us. And you like that. Woo. Where did I begin? What a game. What a game. What a game. What an ending. Man, that took years, minutes, hours, days off my life. I had anxiety through the roof leading up to this game. The second half was no different. It got worse. I was on the verge of having a full-blown panic attack. I was going to close to vomiting. It was bad. Sweating bullets. But what a win. What a win. The first upset of the wild card weekend goes to the New York football giants. Woo! You like that? We are Big Blue. We are playoff mode activated still. And we are traveling to the Philadelphia Eagles Lincoln Financial Field. Don't know the time and date yet, but it's going to be Saturday, either at 4.35 or 8.30. I'm hoping for the 4.30 game. Hard to beat a team three times in one season. Who knows? It's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a battle. Eagles are banged up and rusty. Giants got all the momentum. It should go down as a battle in the NFC East, a divisional battle with the winner being one game away from the NFL Super Bowl championship. Heading to the NFC Championship, the winner will advance. What a win. What a win. This was Daniel Jones and Saquon's first playoff game. And for the other Giants like Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, it was their time to shine. DJ, who was denied his fifth-year option, as well as Saquon, they both put it together, put the team on their back, and they fucking carried it. Daniel Jones, hell of a fucking game, boy. Hell of a fucking game. You were slinging that fucking rock all game long. All game long. From the fucking moment we got the ball, you drove our team down the fucking field and put up points. You match with the Vikings offense that is high-powered, multi-talented with Cook. They got Osborne, Thielen, Justin Jefferson, and we fucking played right their game. We played with them every fucking step of the way. DJ, hell of a game, boy. Saquon, hell of a game. Defense, I'll tell you. Defense was lacking in the first three quarters, I'm not going to lie. But it seems like, you know, when the chips are down and everything's running against us, we just pick up that extra gear and we fucking bring it. And the fucking defense came to play in the last final minutes and we fucking won. We held our own and we fucking came into Minnesota with the fucking skull and we fucking shut them the fuck up and we fucking ended Kirk Cousins' fucking season. I am fucking full of emotion. What a game. What a game. A couple quick takeaways I want to get into. Daniel Jones, They had. I liked how uh, Kafka called this game. I liked the running. Um, kind of felt near the end of the first half, we kind of ran DJ way too much. I was kind of afraid he was going to get hurt. Um, I think we ran him like five straight plays when Saquon on was on the sideline, getting his helmet uh, fixed, whatever was wrong with the helmet. But Jones looked gassed. He looked gassed. Um, but we found a way to get in. Hodgins played well. Even Kenny Galladay. Kenny Galladay made a nice block. He didn't really do much in the uh, receiving game. I don't think he even had a catch. But he made really good blocks. Um, I'll give him credit. You know, Kenny Galladay didn't really complain too much. Yeah, he didn't like the playing time, the lack of playing time he was getting. He did want to contribute. He didn't want to play. Um, but, you know, he just toughed it out and sucked it up, and he's still playing. He's he's giving it his all. He may not be the best one right now on the team, but when he's in there, he's blocking. And that's all you can say and ask for him. So I'm proud of Kenny Galladay for his effort today. But overall, an amazing fucking victory. This offense knew we had to score points to match wits with this Vikings loaded offense, and we did. And we did. And at one point, I thought the game was going to be blown wide open. We were up 24-14. And a bad miss penalty on the offense. We could have scored there. But wow. What a fucking finish. What a fucking finish. I'll leave it at that. I'm just so happy we won. House money. We are playing with house fucking money. All the chips are still in the center of the table. We are all in for next week against the Eagles. It's going to be a tough battle. Don't get me wrong. 
But hey, my expectations have been low all season long. I told you, keep your expectations low. And when we win games like this, it fucking feels amazing. You can't have any stress or pressure when you're not pressured to win. When you're the underdog each and every game. Right now, the Giants are opening up as a seven and a half point underdog against the Eagles. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. We have a very good shot at being the Eagles. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And I will get to that preview later on in the week. But let's enjoy the win tonight, boys. Let's in fucking enjoy the win. It's been a long fucking time since we won a fucking playoff game. 10, 11 years to be exact. First playoff victory without Eli Manning under center. It's a new era in football. It's amazing what a new head coach can bring to a franchise. Brian Dayball, hell of a fucking job. Coach Dabes, I love you. Thank you for all you've done for this organization. You've made every one of us happy, and I can't be more excited for next week's game. I will bring that preview up and update you as we uh, the time comes when they pick the time and date for that game. I know it's going to be Saturday. Just don't know whether it's going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon or the night game. I'm hoping it's 4.30, but we'll see what happens. Enjoy the rest of the win, guys. Enjoy anyone that has a day off tomorrow, Martin Luther King Day. Thank you for all you've done for us. Enjoy the day off. Celebrate with your friends and family and loved ones. Enjoy it. We have won a playoff game for the first time since 2012. We are a game away from the NFC Conference Championship game. Who would have thought? Not me, not you, certainly not us, but we're fucking back. Playoff mode activated. Let's go, G-Men! You like that?